Good day. Thanks for. The special guest of honor, His Excellency, the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Bari, former Head of State and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency, General Dr. Yakub Gawan, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasser Ahmed Erufai, Representatives of the Governors of Kano and Dampara State, Chairman, Senate and House Committee on Defense and Army, other distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly here present, the Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Salih Magashi, retired. Good day and thanks for joining us here at the Kaduna International Trade Fair Complex where the Chief of Army Staff Conference or Annual Conference is holding uh, with the number one citizen of Nigeria attending, President Muhammadu Buhari, and other senior officers of the Nigerian Army also in attendance. Uh, it could be recalled that the last uh, annual conference was scheduled for Bene and then subsequently moved to Borno State Capital, I mean, degree to Borno State Capital, where uh, President Mahathir Buhari also grits that occasion, and also uh, in his uh, speech, uh, uh, Mr. President commended uh, the effort of the Nigerian army in trying uh, to dislodge the element of Buhari there, uh, describing uh, the movement of uh, the annual conference to Borno State as uh, a very thoughtful. Uh, the president also uh, observed that the North is, uh, has become very peaceful, noting that the military effort in stabilizing the security situation there is very commendable. He is also here uh, today attending the annual conference in Kaduna. Uh, we are going to look forward to um, his speech, which is uh, very, very important to this occasion. Uh, here, uh, the chief of army, is, uh, chief of army uh, of uh, I mean the Nigeria's chief of army is uh, also here. Director uh, General Tukul Yusuf Burai. Uh, the Chief of the Defense Staff also in attendance, senior um, army uh, officers and other uh, security operators also in attendance. Uh, this uh, platform, uh, it's uh, a platform where the Nigerian army uh, come together and then assess their performance through the, the uh, year and also uh, try to projections as to where they're heading to in the uh, you know coming year. Uh, let's uh, me uh, leave you with uh, the proceedings right away and subsequently we will come up with a commentary on what uh, is uh, going on at this conference. The Nigeria Television Authority, the largest network in Africa, will be here live and direct to give you every bit of details that happens here. My name is Abdullah Mohammed. Stay tuned. Please permit me. Permit me to admit that this opening ceremony will be in two paces. The first is for what we are here for, the fourth annual conference proper and the official opening ceremony which will be conducted in this hall. And the unveiling of the Edugu Emra outside this hall. We shall thereafter proceed to the second phase at the Nigerian Army Reference Hospital Kaduna for the prolific commissioning of the upgraded Nigerian Army Reference Hospital Kaduna. To start this important occasion, the Chief of Army Sub will soon deliver his welcome address. May I at this juncture? Most respectfully, invite Lieutenant General Tukuriso Borate, Chief of Army Staff. Please come forward and deliver his welcome address. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. Your Excellency, 
Sisa. Let me say that, uh, Excellency, this is the third consecutive time you've been attending the Chief of Army Staff's annual conference. We are most grateful. The special guest of honor, His Excellency, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasru Ahmad El Rufai, our host, the former Head of State and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency General Yakubu Gawan, the representatives of Kano and the Fara State's government, the chairman, Senate Committee on the Nigerian Army, Senator Alin Dume, the chairman, House Committee on the Nigerian Army, Honorable Abdurrahman Namdas, other distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly here present, and of course, members of the Cardinal State House of Assembly here present, our own, the Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Salehi Magashi, retired, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Eji Oloni Shakin, the Chief of I.E. Ibas, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abu Bakar, the former Chiefs of Defense Staff and former Chiefs of Army Staff here present, namely General Emil Aguay, Major A.J. Kazir, Lieutenant General A.B. Dambazau, Lieutenant General O.A. Hejirika, and Lieutenant General K.T.J. Minima, the Chief of Defense Intelligence, the Inspector General of Police here ably represented, the Commander Multinational Joint Task Force and other commanders of the various military operations, especially Commander Operation Lafayette Dole, who is here with us, the Commander Training and Doctrine Command, Commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy and other commandants, the Principal Staff Officers from Defense and Services headquarters, co-commanders, general officers commanding, the Director General Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria, and other directors generals here present, commandants of tri-service and Nigerian army institutions, especially the acting vice chancellor, Nigerian army university BU, Professor Fatima Tahir, heads security and paramilitary agencies here present, our royal fathers, the national president of the Nigerian Army Officers Wife Association, my darling wife, Mrs. Uma Kalsum Tukur Buratai, very senior military officers, both serving and retired, members of the academia. We have the complete Nigerian Army University Governing Council in our midst today. Captains of industries, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed my pleasure and on behalf of officers and soldiers of Nigerian Army to heartily and most respectfully welcome Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mahamadou Buhari. I also welcome all other distinguished personalities here present today. Mr. President, sir, we are indeed most grateful for honoring us with your esteemed presence at this opening ceremony of the Chief of Army Staff's Annual Conference 2019. It is gladdening to recall that the transformation of the Nigerian Army to its current status commence immediately Mr. President was sworn in for his first term of office in 2015. The 
presidential directive was to evolve a professional, well-respected, highly motivated, and people-centric Nigerian army that will have the requisite capability and capacity to respond adequately in a timely manner to solve myriads of temporary and future security threats. Thus, I couch my vision in line with this directive to have a professionally responsive Nigerian army in the discharge of its constitutional roles. Currently, this vision has been greatly accomplished through the monumental and immeasurable support the Nigerian army has received from Mr. President, which goes across the entire spectrum of military affairs. We are thus gathered here today and throughout this week to evaluate and appraise our activities and efforts so far towards achieving the overall objective of better positioning the Nigerian army to face the task ahead in the year 2020 and beyond. Importantly, we are delighted to showcase to Mr. President our innovative and inventive products so far achieved through robust research and development efforts in the drive towards building our own military industrial complex. Mr. President, sir, we are indeed honored and delighted to have you in our midst to unveil the Ezugu MRAP, which is an entirely indigenous production effort from start to finish, and also the commission of the upgraded 44 Nigerian Army Reference Hospital, Kaduna. Modern level four hospital in Nigeria that will cater for the medical needs of our troops and other citizens alike. These two projects will no doubt save significant foreign exchange for the country, which could be used for other developmental purposes. Your Excellency, may I request a two minutes for a short video clip on the versatility of the Ezugu MRAP. If it is ready, can you please uh, get the video quickly? To ensure that the MRAP meets the operational requirement of the Nigerian Army, this homemade armored fighting vehicle was tested in different terrain in the theater of operations in Meiduguri and has been given a nod to be a game changer in the theater of operations. is efficient and rugged for the terrain and it provides the requisite protection needed for troops in operation naturally. The presence of this MRAP we pose a very great um, threat to our adversaries or any nefarious element uh, within our area of operation. The MRAP has been tested and proven to protect troops under attack. We have a game changer and uh, something that will be a force multiplier in our hand. So I'm encouraging appropriate superior authorities to send us as many as possible, we weaponize them and uh, use them to further our operation and end this counterinsurgency quickly. The feat achieved in producing an indigenous fighting vehicle led to a contractual signing between the Nigerian Army, Daikon and CED to produce 28 units of the MRAM. On behalf of the Chief of Army Staff, I'm handing over a duly signed contract agreement between the Nigerian Army and Daikon to mass produce a Zugu the MRAP 
for Nigeria and Nigeria now. Ezuku will be unveiled 3rd of December 2019 by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Muhammad Buhari. According to Victor Hugo, no force can stop an idea whose time has come. Today, this idea, backed up with determination and resilience, has become a reality with its outcome expected to change the complexity in the fight against insurgency in the Northeast. Excellency, Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, it's a good news for the Governor Kaduna State that this MRAP was also tested in the uh, Burningwari area. Within the period under review, the Nigerian Army embarked on massive infrastructural development, force restructuring in line with the approved Nigerian Army Order of Battle 2016, conducted several local and overseas training carried out various operations as well as optimized logistical support, amongst others. We also have evolved seamless administrative measures and improved tremendously on welfare packages, as approved through us by Mr. President, to boost the morale of troops across the nation. Additionally, we have intensified our civil military relations efforts and improve on our media relations as well as imbibe the best global practices in the conduct of our operations in line with the principles of the laws of armed conflict as well as promotion and respect for fundamental human rights of all. All these efforts constitute the cutting edge of the Nigerian army which have been employed to tackle the array of contemporary security challenges. Your Excellency, at this juncture, permit me to reaffirm the commitment and resolve of the Nigerian Army to continue to work assiduously with government to create a conducive environment for Nigerian governors. Mr. President, sir, on behalf of officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, I want to use this opportunity to thank you immensely for your unquantifiable support to the Nigerian Army in our quest to create the Nigerian Army of the future. We are forever grateful on this. We are forever grateful. On this note, I want to once again welcome Mr. President and other dignitaries to this opening ceremony of the Chief of Army Staff's Annual Conference 2019. I want to humbly reassure Mr. President of our unalloyed loyalty and respect to the Constitution. Thank you, sir, and God bless. Please, shall we give another round of applause to the Chief of Army Staff? <laughs> Chief of Army Staff, sir, thank you very much for that memorable address. May I, at this moment, invite the Honorable Minister of Defense. Major General Bashir Salih Magashi, retired CFR, MON, MNI, to please come forward and present his remarks. The Honorable Minister, sir. The special guest of honor, sir, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Malan Nasiru Ahmed Erufai, the Chief Host, the former Head of State and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency, General Yaku Gawan, GCFR, the representatives of the governors of Kano and Zamora State, the chairman, Senate and House Committee on the Army, other distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly here present, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, the former Chiefs of Defense and Army Staff here are present, the Defense Intelligence Agency, the Inspector General of Police here are being represented, the Commander of Multinational Joint Task Force and other commanders of various military operations, the Commander Training and Doctorate Command, Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Principal Staff Officers from the Defense and Service Headquarters, Co-Commanders, General Officers Commanding, Director General Defense Industry Cooperation of Nigeria, and other Director Generals here present. Commandants of Trial Service and Nigerian Army Institutions, representatives of heads of security and paramilitary agencies here present. Our Royal Fathers, the National Presidents of the Nigerian Army Officers' Wives Association and other members present. Very senior officers, both serving and retired, members of the academia, captains of industries, distinguished invitees, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I want you this opportunity to congratulate the Chief of Army Staff, officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army for having had a successful training operation, operational year. I saw and I have been briefed by the Chief of Army Staff on the operational states of the Nigerian Army. I am now better informed what is needed to, be, to support the fight against Boko Haram terrorists and the other country. The Nigerian Army has had a hectic year which a lot of operations have been conducted to secure the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Thus, there is no need, there is a need for a review of the activities during this annual conference to prepare for the next year final onslaught on Boko Haram. I want to assure you that as you as you are minister under the support of the president that all challenges of operational, logistics, and administrative support will be addressed to further reposition the Nigerian army to the next level. I want to see this opportunity to commend your sacrifices and commitment to the service of this great nation. It is my belief that the Nigerian army will remain the bastion of the national unity and we must therefore continue to remain a political, professional, and committed to support the democratic governance in Nigeria. However, in the course of our operational duties, some of your colleagues have made the supreme sacrifices while some others were wounded in action. 
with various degree of disability. I assure you, we are committed to ensuring that those who have died would be remembered and their loved ones be cut for, while those wounded in action will continue to receive the best medical attention and uh, well rehabilitated. On this note, I want to thank Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for his continuous support to the Nigerian Army and indeed the Nigerian Armed Forces. Let me remind us all of our continuous loyalty to the Commander-in-Chief as we position ourselves for greater commitment to the service of our fatherland. I wish the Chief of Army staff and all participants a successful, fruitful deliberation during this year, this, during this 2019 annual conference. Thank you all and God bless you all. Thank you, sir, the Honorable Minister for Defense. Major General Bashir Sali Mogashi, please shall we give him another sound of applause for that wonderful goodwill message. A special guest of honor, sir, senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to listen to the goodwill message of our host, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nas Mohammed Arupai. Your Excellency, please. Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our leader and mentor, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. Your Excellency, former Head of State, General Yakubu Gawan. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kaduna State, the only female deputy governor in northern Nigeria, Dr. Hadiza Balarabe. The chief, sorry, honorable minister of defense, chairman Senate Committee on Army, chairman House Committee on Army, Invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to shorten the protocol. It is with great pleasure that I present this goodwill message at the Chief of Army Staff Annual Conference 2019. I'm highly elated that Kaduna State was chosen as the host location for this conference, bearing in mind the historical importance of Kaduna in the history of the Nigerian Army. We are privileged as Kaduna State to play host to several military formations, units, schools, and establishments. Over the decades, the presence of these military institutions has greatly benefited our state and fostered synergy between the Army and the good people of our state. We are proud of the leadership of the Nigerian Army for evolving a purposeful and professional driven course of action in transforming the Army into a formidable force capable of discharging its constitutional responsibilities. Your efforts in the conduct of operations with adherence to the rules of engagement and evolving challenges have greatly assisted in maintaining peace in Kaduna State and indeed in most of Nigeria for the dividends of democracy to be fed by our people. Specifically, here in Kaduna State, Your Excellency Mr. President, the Chief of Army Staff, we cannot forget the role the Nigerian Army has played in encouraging 
and sustaining peace and security in the state. And I will just mention four of them in the last four years. The first is that the Nigerian army helped restore peace and stability in the southern Kaduna Senatorial District by the establishment of forward operation base in that area. Number two, the army helped in no small way in decimating the capacity of cattle rustlers and kidnappers operating in this state and in surrounding states. Number three, the army played a leading role in confronting the menace of the outlawed El Zagzaki movement, which had been oppressing the people of Zaria and environs for the past 30 years. And number four, and number four, various corporate social responsibility interventions by the army, including medical outreaches and infrastructural interventions like construction of access roads and river crossings have greatly helped the state government and brought peace and understanding between communities. For this and many others, Mr. President, the government and people of Kaduna State are very grateful to the Nigerian army. These several military civil coordination activities have also been undertaken with the intention of winning the hearts and minds of the people, and we highly appreciate those as well. We as a people are also appreciative of the innovative and infrastructural investments undertaken by the army, which by extension benefits our people by providing jobs and enabling the development of sectoral clusters like automotive manufacturing and garmenting with DICON as the nucleus. Mr. President, sir, as you are aware, the assembly of automotive vehicles for the use of the army has begun in Kaduna. But in addition to the Pujo Automobile Assembly Plant here, there is a new vehicle assembly plant being put up by a joint venture of Dangote and Pujo to, pr to produce trucks, SUVs, and other vehicles. With these three automobile manufacturing plants in Kaduna, we are gradually creating an automotive cluster here has helped in cementing that. Again, we are grateful. DICON, DICON is also starting the production of garments for the Nigerian Armed Forces and paramilitary agencies. And around this activity, Mr. President, we are establishing a cluster for garmenting that will produce not only military and paramilitary uniforms, but also civilian clothing, domestic consumption and export. Again, the Army is the nucleus for this effort, but we are going to take advantage of it and expand it further, and we are very grateful to the Army for being that catalyst for development. Finally, Mr. President, the commissioning today of an indigenous built platform and ultra modern level four hospital that is comparable to any hospital of its status in the world today is a feat that must be applauded. I wish to pay tribute to the former chiefs of army staff, some of them seated here, that initiated the upgrade of 44 reference hospital, and General Borotai, the current chief of army staff, for bringing this project to the level of commissioning today. As a government, We'll continue to partner with the Nigerian Army and render our support for the conduct of your activities in addressing the issues of security and welfare of our society. We hope that officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, both serving and retired, will borrow a leaf from Mr. President and continue to consider Kaduna their home of choice. As you know, this is the president's home. This is where he lives, not Daura. He was. And we are looking forward to receiving him here on the 29th of May, 2023, by the grace of God. I am surprised that General Yakubu Gawan has not come back home. <clears throat> so, with this in this regards, 
Please, I'm appealing to all the officers here to please apply for land in Kaduna and we'll give you priority in allocation. Kaduna State and indeed Nigeria continue to appreciate your selfless sacrifice to the nation. On behalf of the grateful people of Kaduna State, I welcome you all to Kaduna. Your effort towards having a professionally responsive Nigerian army in the discharge of his constitutional role are highly appreciated. We congratulate the Chief of Army Staff for the start of this conference. We wish you successful deliberation at this Chief of Staff Army Staff Annual Conference 2019. Thank you for listening. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Host Governor Nasser el -Rufai. Please, shall we give him a resounding applause once again? Special guests of honor, sir, very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. With the goodwill message by His Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, I once again have the honor and privilege to announce that it is now time, it is now the historic moment, the time to listen attentively to the keynote address by the special guest of honor, the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR. It is therefore my singular honor to request the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuri Subarate, to most respectfully and dutifully invite Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief President Muhammad Buhari to please deliver his keynote address. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. No, please sit down. Please remain seated. Please. Your Excellency, General Kubon, <clears throat> the former head of state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Commander of Chief of the Armed Forces. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, members of the National Assembly present here, Honorable Minister of Defense, and other ministers present here, the Chief of Defense Staff and Service Chiefs, former Service Chiefs, Chief of Defense Intelligence, and other heads of security. the agencies and senior officers, both serving and retired, and the royal fathers, members of academia, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to be with you for this opening ceremony of Chief of Army Staff Conference 2019. This conference serves as a platform for strategic leaders and operational commanders to appraise, assess, and evaluate the Army's activities for their 2019 as well as make projections for improved engagements in 2020 and beyond. This kind of periodic self-assessment is being sustained because it is critical for the professional development of the Nigerian Army. One of the cardinal pillars of our government is the provision of security. Accordingly, working for a sustainable and secured environment is a major priority for this administration. It is therefore encouraging to note that the Nigerian army is a critical element of national power and inventive ventures to become an army to be proud of in the future 
by all Nigerians. There is no doubt that a lot has been achieved by our army since my assumption of office as the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. This administration has continued to provide resources to carry out transformational projects with the sole aim of modernizing the army to be better positioned to perform its constitutional roles. In this regard, it is pertinent to acknowledge the establishment of the Army University View, the Army Resource Center, and the Army War College to further boost intellectual capacity in the forces. Furthermore, the establishment of the Army Special Corps, the Army Cyber Warfare Command, 50 Space Command, and the Land Forces Simulation Center are laudable efforts at repositioning the Army to address emerging and future threats to our national security. I note the collaborative efforts of the Command Engineering Depot with relevant indigenous organizations to promote local content towards developing our military industrial complex. I am glad that the production of the Uzugu mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, which I will be unveiling today, will join the infantry patrol vehicles that were earlier produced as testimony that our efforts are yielding positive results. Additionally, your efforts in terms of capacity building, training, and conduct of exercises are quite commendable. I am aware that there are ongoing field exercises such as Atilogu UDO1, Exercise IM, Akpatuma 2, and Exercise Crocodile Smile 4, among other civil military cooperation activities. These are impressive efforts geared at enhancing operational efficiency of the Army, as well as facilitate conducive security environment for socio-economic activities to thrive. I found the theme of this year's Chief of Army Staff Conference which is, I quote, application of the cutting edge of the Nigerian army in tackling contemporary security challenges, unquote, aptly captured to address the purpose of the conference. This government is not aware that the achievements of the army came with associated costs. Many personnel have lost their lives. Some have sustained injuries, and a significant number have been away from their families for a long time. I once again send my condolences to the families of those who have paid the supreme sacrifice in an effort to safeguard the sovereignty of our great nation. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. I urge our soldiers to continue to abide by their ethics and ethos and keep to the rules of engagement and code of conduct while ensuring that human rights and international humanitarian laws are promoted and respected in the conduct of military operations. I salute the courage and the gallant efforts of the personnel of the Nigerian Army. I am highly impressed with the conduct of operations that continue to flesh out the terrorists from their enclaves. The 
and execution of the super camp concept in the Operation Lafayette Dole Theater have maintained the momentum against terrorists. I urge you to sustain this great effort. Let me, at this point, reiterate our government's resolve to do everything within its constitutional power to ensure the security and safety of law-abiding citizens. This is a commitment we have made and will continue to keep. At this juncture, I wish to command the Chief of Army Staff for his laudable efforts at transforming the Nigerian Army. He has keyed into the federal government change agenda, and I particularly commend his trust in the critical areas such as innovative and inventive approach to producing military hardware, infrastructural development, restructuring, and reorganization, among others, with significant results, particularly in the ongoing counterinsurgency operations and other operations across the country. This government will continue to support the Army to sustain these laudable initiatives aimed at repositioning you to deal with contemporary security challenges and to achieve a modern Army of the future. For members of the Armed Forces, I want to reiterate government's commitment to your welfare. We are aware of some of the challenges, particularly in the areas of training, manpower, and barracks infrastructure. We will continue to do all within available resources to provide for your operational and welfare needs, particularly in the area of health care for your personnel and their families. I am therefore delighted that later this afternoon I will be commissioning the new block recently completed, equipped and furnished in the 44 Reverend's Hospital here in Kaduna which would not only provide excellent medical services to our troops, but could also serve the needs of United Nations personnel as a level four hospital. I commend the Chief of Army Staff and his predecessors who initiated, continued, and complete this project. I have gone through conference program and it is my belief that the conference will generate new strategies and concepts that will enhance sustainable peace in the country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to formally declare the Chief of Army Staff Annual Conference 2019 open. I thank you all and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. That was addressed by His Excellency, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, please shall we give him highly resounding applause. The special guests of honor are senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. An important and rare occasion such as this, where Mr. President Commander in Chief is physically present 
Such a occasion cannot be complete without appreciating Mr. President. For that reason, I would like to please make a presentation to the special guest of honor, the President and Commander in Chief, President Muhammadu Bahari, the Chief of Army Staff Police. Mr. President, for that commendation. At this point, our special guest of honor, senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The next item on this segment of our program is the group photograph. This would be followed by the unveiling and commission of our own very indigenous effort at mitigating the challenge of military hardware production. At this point, Special guest of honor, another very special guest, should please remain seated until invited to join us all outside for the group photograph and unveiling ceremony. Shall we, at this point, rise for the national anthem, please?
Please, all other distinguished invited guests, uh, please and be ready. Soon the special guest will now join you for the group photograph, please. And now it is time for a group photograph with a special guest of honor, President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, the theme of these years COAS uh, conference application of the cutting edge of the Nigerian army in tackling contemporary challenges. I would like to go back and um, hint you uh, some of uh, the aspect of the speech of uh, Mr. President, which I noted here, that he talked about. Uh, first of all, he made emphasis on how his administration prioritized security. Uh, Mr. President also in his speech uh, talked about the establishment of uh, the Army University and several other efforts uh, made by his administration in repositioning the uh, Nigerian army which he said is a pointer to the commitment of his administration to developing the capacity of the army uh, to ensure that it executes one of uh, the cardinal agenda of the administration thus uh, ensuring that uh, there's security of lives and property in every part of the country. President Muhammad Buhari also noted the various uh, exercises being uh, conducted by the Nigerian army to keep peace in several parts of uh, the country with uh, commendations. He also condoled the families of those who paid the supreme prize in the fight against insurgency. His, he emphasized that his administration will continue to support the army in ensuring that the family of those that have been uh, left behind will be cutted for effectively. He called on the Nigerian military to respect the rules of engagement in the fight against insurgency. He praised the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Yusuf Tukur Buratai, for keying into the change mantra and he reiterated his commitment to supporting the Nigerian military in every aspect to succeed. He never left the podium before charging participants of the conference to come up with strategies to ensure that they succeed in all their endeavor. And right now, Mr. President has left the main venue of the event and at the exhibition center just by the side of uh, the venue of the event here at the Kaduna International Trade Fair Complex and uh, he will at that place commission the about six indigenously produced anti-mines uh, which is produced uh, by a unit of the Nigerian army. Uh, there you can see it being displayed. In the moment he is uh, going to commission them today. Apart from those uh, machines which uh, the head of that engineering unit called a variant of mines resistance ambush protected vehicles solely produced in Nigeria 
by the intelligent officers, the men of the Nigerian military. He was explaining to us uh, the main function of these vehicles that you're seeing uh, being displayed. Uh, they are specially made to confront element of insurgents in every part of this country, especially those in places like the North East. Uh, as it is called, a variant of mines, resistance, ambush, protected vehicles. It is a vehicle that is anti-mines and protects all security agents that uh, will use them against insurgents. Earlier on, you saw the two-minute clip which uh, was transmitted uh, during the presentation of speech of the Chief of Army staff, where the functions of all these vehicles were presented. Apart from these six uh, anti-mines vehicles, there are a lot of other very important machines that has been, have uh, uh, been produced by uh, intelligent officers and men of the Nigerian army, like just this one that you're seeing here, fabricated mobile borehole drilling machine, uh, which can provide water for the military in the theater of operations. It is also produced by the Nigerian army, solely produced here without any kind of help from outside of uh, the four corners of this country. Here again, we also know that uh, feeding is very essential for uh, those in the theater of operations. And um, here, another kind of uh, machine which uses uh, solar energy to cook food for the Nigerian army while in operation. Uh, we know how important that is for them when they are in the theater of operation. We're still at the exhibition center there where Mr. President is going from one table or to the other to take a look at uh, so many machines that are produced by the Nigerian army and here one of the machines being demonstrated here Mr. President, as he said in his speech, is very happy with the performance of uh, the Chief of Army Staff. And then you have seen it there uh, clearly that a lot of things have been uh, produced by the Army. And that means they are trying to be self-reliant, especially uh, in terms of uh, equipment, equipment that will keep them in high spirit, especially in the field of operation. And one very important thing that I've seen here is the fact that in building all these machineries, the 
engineers of uh, the Nigerian army have taken cognizance of uh, the environment, ensuring that most of uh, the utilize uh, solar energy. You can see from all the vehicles that have been displayed, uh, most of them uh, use uh, solar energy. And again, the tag that you've seen, the Chief of Army the annual conference with a team utilizing cutting edge in tackling contemporary challenges and there we see it on display that indeed the akin into that and ensuring that they manufacture all those things themselves without uh, relying on input of those things and this is to to tell you uh, that all the kind of commendations that they receive from Mr. President today didn't just come like that. It is as a result of the unwavering commitment that the Nigerian Army under the current Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Yusuf Tukur Burotai put to ensure that they become self-reliant and as Mr. President said earlier that they are keen into the change mantra which he said one of the cardinal focus of that is providing security. You can see uh, there again been displayed a kind of a, um, a machine gun boat. It is produced by the Nigerian army. Here again, pictures of uh, men of the Nigerian army who participated or you know come up with ideas for the development of all these uh, machines that you see especially this one and uh, uh, been displayed is a kind of a water pump machine pumping machine which of course can be used by the Nigerian army especially in uh, you know the field of uh, operation uh, once again a mobile dental uh, clinic there a product of the Nigerian army standing tall there this is all the effort put by the Nigerian army that uh, has been attracting a lot of uh, commendation not only from uh, the uh, president uh, again here another uh, kind of uh, convenience for uh, the army while in the operational theater And there you go, an aerial surveillance, a prototype there, it is not a Panchito. Of course, 
in reality is out there. And here again, uh, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari performing the commissioning of those six machines, machines there, which they call Ezugu a variant of the mines resistance ambush protected vehicle there uh, the commission in don uh, mr president uh, uh, will continue to take a look at the variety of uh, machines there produced by the Nigerian army and from one point to the other he's been offered explanation on the use of the machines especially this six uh, variants of mines resistance ambush protective vehicle which will be very very useful in the fight against insurgency we all know that the remnant of the element of insurgent have gone into hiding and what they're using now is explosive devices and uh, with Machines like this one, uh, we can see over there, Mr. President stepping into one of the the anti mines ambush protected vehicle there to assess the machine and then find out how it works. Uh, President Mohamed Buhari, the number one citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Is in there. He might be a very happy man today. I've uh, seen the kind of uh, revolution that is taking place. The Nigerian army, which is led by the current chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Yusuf Tukur Buratai. who is also very very passionate about ensuring that ideas presented before him are turned into reality just like though this ones that we're seeing today there were ideas in the minds of many of uh, the men and officers of the Nigerian army put into papers today it has become a reality and uh, number one citizen of uh, Nigeria President Muhammad Buhari is commissioning it here today at the ground of the Kaduna International Trade Fair Complex here this very afternoon and he's coming out of uh, one of uh, the Ezegu, the six Ezegu that have been displayed here and Mr. President coming out there and then followed by the Minister of Defense also coming out there uh, members of uh, I mean, the, the governor of Kaduna State, uh, the Malan Nasser Ahmed Erufai, and uh, members of the uh, committee, of the, I'm from the uh, Senate, and uh, other senior officers of the Nigerian army there. Again, there are some of the 
This one an area surveillance machine there. A product of the Nigerian Army. Right now, Mr. President is inspecting a lot of other ingenuities of the Army, which has become reality today. And all these things you have seen is a result of uh, the commitment of the Chief of Army staff to ensure that he gives equal opportunity to his men or officers who have ideas and are willing to develop the Nigerian Army provides them the enabling environment to kind of realize their dreams someone out there in the Nigerian army was having you know what we're seeing there as a dream but today it is being actualized he has seen his dream or her dream come true courtesy of a very good leadership leadership of the chief of army staff Lieutenant General Tokor Yusuf Burutai and again there being displayed is another section of the Nigerian Army where the boats uh, been locally produced again a commitment to ensuring that Nigeria does not take her hard-earned reserves to import all these things that you've seen have been displayed there. This is no doubt a good leadership in action. President Muhammad Buhari is still being led through the exhibition of a series of machines produced by the Nigerian army there from one point to the other. He's seen them one after the other and then explanations as to the functions of those machines been offered to him just like we've seen on the screen there been uh, kind of explanation there of the function of that machine again uh, moving back to the uh, the exhibition uh, center just by the side of uh, the venue of the event where we have uh, just finished listening to uh, a very important uh, speech from uh, number one citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Muhammad Bahari full of commendation to the Nigerian army for ensuring that peace returns to the troubling sports across the country and here again uh, it is still part of the Nigerian Army School of Public Relations and Information also trying to display what they know best. Uh, Mr. President, we'll leave here the Kaduna 
international trade fair complex to the middle of, I mean, central city of Kaduna to unveil the, yes, to unveil the upgraded 44 reference hospital in the middle of uh, Kaduna. And here we're seeing uh, the helping hands extended by the Nigerian army to their community of operation. And the public relations department of the Nigerian army. Well, I would like to say thank you very much for uh, being part of this transmission which came to you live from the uh, Kaduna International Trade Fair Complex where Mr. President came and then delivered a very incisive speech. The Governor of Kaduna State, the uh, Chief of uh, Army Staff himself, Chief of Defense Staff, that of the Air Force and the Navy all in attendance. I would like to thank you very much for being part of the transmission. I uh, want to say on behalf of the crew here, goodbye. My name is Abdullahi Mohammed.